Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Canopy Growth to, re to report first quarter fiscal 2021 financial results on August 10th, 2020. So uh, will Canopy's earnings crash, crash the MJ market? I think so, but I don't know for sure if... I don't know, I am eyeing Canopy and if I see it rally like to twenty dollars I'm buying a put option because I'm gonna bet against Canopy failing. That's just my plan, but if Canopy drops all the way down to like sixteen dollars or fifteen dollars, I'll bet that it might rally after earnings report, but we'll see what happens. I think if Canopy goes up way too much it's probably going to drop after earnings and if Canopy drops like a lot before earnings I think it might rally a little bit after earnings but that's just my opinion we'll see what happens so Quest Cap Incorp I talked about it last night uh, I guess uh, in the morning P Big Money is starting to push this up again because I don't think retail investors move their stock. I think big money does. So yeah, we're up uh, three thirty-eight point four six percent this morning. Will it continue? I don't know at the end of the day. I really don't know. But it looks bullish right now because it's still moving up. So will this continue? I have no idea. I, I really don't. I just, it all depends on big money. If they want to move it up, it'll move it up. If they want to crash it, they will take profits and crash it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I still have my position. I didn't pull anything. I think, you know, there's a possibility that this thing can go back to a dollar. That was pretty big news what happened last night. But uh, we'll see. Afria. Afria this morning is uh, down three cents. Uh, Aurora is down two cents. Cron is up 11 cents. Tilray is up 6 cents. OGI is uh, uh, up 10, 1 cents. But if Canopy crashes, everything will go down. Everything will go down. Solo this morning down 10 cents. Solo since because of its huge liquidity, I think Solo is a big target for shorts. Shorts short and cover, short and cover. That's how it, this game works for Solo. I don't think it's really about people trading the stock. It's about shorts covering and selling, covering and selling. That's how this volume is created. Uh, that's why uh, Solo has such a huge amount of volume because there's so much heavy, uh, so much short, uh, short covering, short and short covering, and that's the reason why this stock is so volatile because of the huge, vo the huge volume is coming from a lot of short sellers. That's why I think it's happening right now. But, anyways, uh, you know what I think what happened here was. Not, not right there actually. I, th I think what happened here was the stock was so low that a bunch of people started buying it up. The stock rallied a little bit, shorts got panicked and they covered a little bit. The stock shot up to $3.31 and then uh, there was maybe some profit taking. And then uh, they noticed that the stock didn't really go down anymore. And then shorts decide to cover again. Just to completely, you know, cover, take their profit. And then once the stock got back up to around $3.50, shorts came back in. They shorted again. The stock went down. And it kept going down. And then people started buying. And then shorts... At three dollars and thirty-five cents, I think shorts took back the stock back down to three dollars and twelve cents. The lower the stock goes, the better because you know that's creates an opportunity. If especially if it goes back down to here, I think that's a huge buying opportunity because there seems to be a big like it seems like a lot of people buy down here. So 
if the stock goes back down here I think it has heavy support down here and that creates an opportunity especially on Monday because on Monday what's coming on Monday there's a big interview coming on Monday possibly some big news for deliveries and that could cause you know the stock to go up massively it could okay it could that's the word could but well it I don't know at the end of the day I really don't but uh, right now I don't think it's people buying it's just basically shorts uh, shorting and covering like for example I think there was a huge short right here push big short position uh, it may continue to go down I don't know we'll see what uh, bulls do but uh, it, this stock is all about shorts and you know maybe some bulls some but uh, I don't think there's a huge amount of retail investor and I don't think that re retail investors can't really move stocks anyways it's all about shorts and big money so big money it uh, gets really excited about solo uh, let's say if like solo releases a huge piece of news on Monday and big money gets excited they push the stock up shorts might freak out cover and then we could see the stock skyrocket but again you know that's just my opinion we'll see what happens and then once the stock hits a certain price point like let's say five dollars six dollars or seven dollars depending on the news uh shorts will come back in and try to take it down again so this is how the the stock market works it's all about shorts and bulls so shorts and big money uh, so but sometimes a big money can push a stock up just so they can short it <laughs> they'll, they'll push it up as high as they can and then they'll start shorting it when when the stock gets really high that's how the stock market that's how hedge funds work like uh, think about billions right Billions, they would be a bull uh, at the beginning. They would push the stock up as high as possible. And then when the stock gets really high, they'll short it. And then they'll take the stock back down. Oh, they'll create, uh, they'll, they'll create some uh, short, like they'll create some news that uh, uh, will give them momentum that cause people to sell and give them the momentum for the stock to go back down. That's just how the market works, because sometimes you know shorts bring us uh, big money brings the stock up way too high, and then uh, you know uh, uh, dragged a bunch of retail and retail refused to sell, and shorts need retail uh, to sell in order and sh to basically bring the stock price back down. So and that's how they make a lot of money when the stock price goes down. So and up. Big money makes on the way up and down. They don't just focus on one direction. They focus on two direction. So yeah, Arcomotive. The thing with Arcomotive is Arcomotive doesn't have a huge amount of volume, so shorts can't really attack the stock. Uh, even though like there's a lot of covering on uh, what is it on. Hyper change, the, the fact that there's not a huge amount of volume, there's not a lot of trading. Shorts don't really have uh, ability to show uh, to like attack it. But this is just my theory, anyways. I don't know for sure. I just explain how the volume because if you look at the short position on uh, on uh, solo, it's huge, right? It went from six hundred fifty eight to two point six nine million, while Arcomotive doesn't have a huge short position. It went from 763 to 573k. So there's not a huge short position on Arcomotive. It's just, you know, trading and the volume's low. So Arcomotive Wolf won't really move down unless there's some big nasty news that will drag the st all stocks down. Workhorse, on the other hand, Workhorse has a huge amount of short position, but. There is a there is a there is a reason why shorts are not winning with workhorse is because of arc. Arc motive is dragging in other rich people. That's the reason why arc uh, workhorse is not like crashing like crazy because there's so much YouTube coverage 
And on top of that, there is, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, so there's a lot of YouTube covering and there's ARC. ARC invested in it, so it's hard for shorts to come out with a short report for Workhorse because, hey, at the end of the day, when you see ARC invest into Workhorse, you kind of like, yeah, you know, like, how do I make a, a, uh, a short, like, how do I make a hit report on Workhorse when Kathy Woods is invested in this company? It's hard. It's really hard because Kathy Woods win big on Tesla. Unless Tesla crashes, Workhorse could stay up here for a while. And if big news comes out for Workhorse, there could be a short squeeze to the upside if Workhorse breaks twenty one. Uh, it breaks twenty one dollars. Uh, there could be a big short squeeze, and we could see Workhorse all uh, rally all the way up to thirty dollars. You know, that's what I think could happen to Workhorse. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, maybe shorts will be stubborn and they'll just continue to short at twenty one dollars, and big money will just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And then once it hits $25, shorts might freak out. And we could see that short squeeze all the way up to maybe $35. That could be a possibility. Uh, Tesla, on the other hand, yeah, like Tesla also kind of determines workhorse's uh, movement. So if Tesla stock rallies big time, like let's say to 2000, 3000, like 2000, Workhorse could have also experienced a big rally too. I don't know if that they, retail investors are not going to move Workhorse stock at all. It's, or oh, maybe Donald Trump came out and promoted Workhorse, that could cause a short squeeze to the upside in a big way. So yeah, there's lots of multiple catalysts. AMD, short sellers take 800 million hit from AM, uh, AMD earning beat. AMD wasn't heavily shorted, but it still had a short position of 50 million. I think uh, right now shorts are hoping that AMD crashes so they can make their money back. But uh, there's a lot of momentum on AMD side. We'll see what happens, but uh, if big money keeps pushing AMD up and shorts freak out and cover, the stock could go up massively. But uh, right now it looks like there's some profit taking and. Uh, the stock is going down, but we'll see if that can continue or if short, uh, if big money will win and cause shorts to sque uh, squeeze and the stock could go even higher. But right now it is an overbought territory, so I'm expecting a little bit of a pullback to around $70, $76. And then after that, it could start moving back up again, but we'll see though. This is just my short term prediction. Uh, shall, shall has no shorts on it it's just retail investors are bored of the stock and there's no huge media coverage and it's downtrending uh, but there's not a huge amount of short position on this why because there's not a lot of volume uh, shorts need volume in order to short that's just how the market works solo has a lot of volume on it like solo is you know, 598,000 volume right now, and it's just the start of the day. By the end of the day, we should hit like 5, 6 million, maybe 10 million, depending on the news. So, yeah. Uh, shall uh, Kodak. Kodak, I think Kodak is under a big short attack right now because of the huge amount of volume that Kodak has. And I also think a lot of people are profit-taking. And shorts are, you know, just, I think it's being heavily shorted right now. And retail investors are freaking out. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If this stock pushes back to $30, we can see this thing spike to 35 because of a short squeeze. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see where the shorts take. Uh, I'm definitely eyeballing this. If this thing goes to like twenty dollars, I might make up a small. I might buy a small position in it. Arrow, arrow is down this morning ten cents. Arrow doesn't have a big short position on it. I don't think. Let's just look. Nope, not really. Because 
it doesn't have a huge amount of volume. That's the reason why. Like, look at the volume. Average volume is six million. Right now it's one hundred seventy five thousand. So not a huge amount of volume. I think shorts are just kind of staying away from this. Spac, spac. Uh, I don't know. It's like a lot of volume. So maybe shorts attacking this. I have no idea. Let's just look at the short position. It is. It did increase. It went from one hundred and sixty-two to five hundred and two. This it could be like way bigger now, but you know, I think at twelve bucks, I I might even make a position in this at twelve bucks. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Candy, candy technologies. Candy is uh set is down seventy six cents. Uh, not too much to say about that. I think, like I said. Big money came out and they pumped the stock all the way up to, you know, all the way up to 15 bucks almost. And then they just shorted it and uh, it's taking the stock back down now. And then they'll, they'll, at a certain point, they'll probably cover, take the stock back up again, and then short it again. And that's how they make money. That's what I think. I don't know for sure. Uh, we don't like. I don't know the sh the short position on it is five four point seven nine million. Uh, short position as of June fifteen was four point eight. It's already a pretty heavy. Uh, so what I think happened could happen was uh, when it rallied big time. Uh, shorts basically covered. So wh what I think happened was it was a huge rally. And then shorts, you know, covered their 4.8 million, caused the stock to go up to 14.58, started reshorting the stock again once it hit this high, pulled it back down so they can make money. Eventually they will cover and then the stock will run again. But again, this is just my opinion. It's just a big, one big cycle. I don't think it's like retail investors controlling the stock at all. Pretty tight, vo uh, pretty tight uh, float. So yeah, tight floats can be a positive and a negative. It just all depends on, uh, you know, if big money decides to come back in and push the stock back up again because of some news catalyst. Could be a big short squeeze, and we could see this stock easily rally back to fifteen dollars. That's just my opinion. So I definitely keep an eye out on this because I think that eventually there will be a short squeeze on this. Just I don't know where the bottom is and how low it will go. Uh, Blink, Blink is uh, uh, down 61 cents. Not too much to say about that. Amazon is up a uh, dollar. You know, I think right now shorts are trying to attack this because it's gone up too much and just pulling it back down, but. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I wonder if there's a big short position on this. 2.99 million as of July 15th. <laughs> this thing was totally squeezed. And shorts are probably back trying to pull this back down. Float is 19.14 million. So float doesn't have a really big float. So what I think happened was news caused the, uh, a short squeeze. And now shorts are probably back and pulling it back down again. And the cycle starts again. Again, this is all speculation at the end of the day for me. Uh, Amazon is uh, up $1.90. Uh, Apple is up $26. Facebook is up $20. Uh, let's look at some of the multi-state operators. Kira today is up. 10 cents Kira you know the good thing about Kira trading on the Canadian Security Exchange is there's not very much shorting going on in Kira and True Eve it's all about just people selling and buying at, at the end of the day for these stocks so that's the that's the one benefit of being on uh, an OTC and a uh, Canadian Security Exchange not very much shorting going on and that's where all the big money is flowing right now Men, man, men, man, yeah, men, man is more. It's like just basically people buying and selling. Uh, liberal health science. 
down four cents this morning. Uh, half up a penny. High tide, just trading sideways. Uh, crest goal. Up ten cents. Yeah, that's all. I really uh, what Bitcoin doing today? Bitcoin, Bitcoin, just kind of flat today. Anyways, uh, let's see what Quest uh, Cap is doing. Quest Cap, oh, still rallying. That's good. They had a little pullback to twenty something cents. It's still rallying. We'll see if this can continue. Anyways, this is it for my video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.